This lesson's about the meeting follow-up document. Using this will really set you apart and make you a professional salesperson. So after a meeting or a conference call or, or a get together with one of your prospects, send this meeting follow-up document. Within it, and it actually should look like your proposal template. So they've got to start to see what your proposal looks like. Within it, you want to put their logo, the time and the date of the meeting or the call. Then you also want to include who was on the call from their side, who was on the call from your side, what was discussed, and now action items that they have to come away with and take ownership of on their side and action items for you so that everybody is clear on what took place in the meeting and what's supposed to happen next. And then you'll send this off to them with a note that says something along the lines of, I wanted to send you this follow-up document of, of our meeting today. It's to the best of my recollection. Please review it, edit it any way that you want to, and send it back to me if there's anything you think that's not correct. And we'll work on it. Man, does this clarify things. You know, I've had situations where everybody heard the same thing, but heard it in different ways. And it really caused problems down the road. Always clarify after a meeting and then set up action steps in writing on what everybody's responsibilities are. So doing this meeting follow-up document will show them you're not just a mediocre salesperson. But you're on their way or you are a professional salesperson. Good luck with it. You can get all 262 sales training lessons on how to be a professional salesperson on my website. The URL is listed below. Pledge today to be a professional salesperson, to be the best that you possibly can, to earn more than you ever have, and allow me to be your coach. Thank you.